A Broom with a View by J.S.D. Johnston Number 4 in the witch-themed Bobby's Bakery series The morning was crisp and the cold air was chilling Yet Gretchen cared not, for her ride was quite thrilling She'd never gone farther than Old Crooked Creek But today she flew miles beyond, just for a peek it had been but a month since she'd earned her own broom, and it didn't take long till she learned how to zoom. She soared ever higher, the trees just mere dots. The clouds kissed her cheeks, her mind filled with nice thoughts. Then down on the ground in the fields far below her, she noticed a virulent rampaging ogre. The ogre was wrecking a large pumpkin patch, the innocent pumpkins were clearly no match. Hey, you, Mr. Ogre, she called overhead. You must leave them alone or they'll soon be quite dead. The ogre looked up, threw a pumpkin and spat, then scurried away like an oversized rat. Gretchen flew down to the field for a look. The scene was so grisly, she whimpered and shook. What has he done to you, dear little fruits? The pumpkins just moaned, most torn up by their roots. She gathered the pumpkins together. Don't fear, I'll be back soon with help. Till then, you stay right here. Once back in the coven, she sought to regale her magical sisters with her tragic tale. But they seemed not moved by the plight of the pumpkins. We don't care what happens to wild country bumpkins, said Bertha, the bossiest one of the bunch. It's not our concern. Gretchen, see about lunch. What business of ours is the ogre's destruction? Asked Witch Delacour. We've no cause for obstruction. The ogres and witches observe an old truce. Your rash interference could well cook our goose. As Gretchen served lunch to her elders, she thought, There must be a way I can save the whole lot. For pumpkin sides wrong. Such a needless, cruel act. The ogres might stop if I speak using tact. <gasps> or better yet, I could come up with a spell to make them act kindly. Yes, that could work well. She mixed up a batch, then marched out to her broom. I must fly in haste. Those poor pumpkins face doom. Where are you off to? asked her turkey friend. To save some dear pumpkins who face a vile end. She poured out her story to young Turkey Jake. Then we must do something, he said, for their sake. She straddled her broom, making ready to fly. I must go without you. Without me? My eye! Jake climbed on behind her. I'm ready. Let's wing. Not without me, cried a potted sapling. But Twiggle, there's danger. We face the unknown. All the more reason to not go alone. With no time to lose, Gretchen took off quite quick. Jake's wing held the tree pot, his feet the broom's stick. It didn't take long till the ogres were found, with pumpkins laying injured all over the ground. You there, Jake called. Stop behaving like brutes. The ogres responded by smashing more fruits. Gretchen uncorked the vial filled with her spell. The ogres sniffed round, asking, What is that smell? A spell to ensure you will listen to reason and find some good will to share this festive season. The ogre stopped pillaging, all eyes on her. You'll do as I say, she said. You sound quite sure. I am, for I've come armed with kindness and cheer to help you enjoy this blessed time of the year. Did you know adult pumpkins have jobs and duties? Some become sweet pies and others carved beauties. They bring families together, kick off celebrations as holiday sweets and the best decorations. It takes craftsmen to help them transform in this way. Artists and bakers who love work and play. We like those things, cried an ogress named Lou. It's hard to believe, Gretchen said. That is true, for all I have seen from you are gruesome acts. 
I don't mean to hurt you, but these are the facts. The old ogres huddled and gestured quite wildly. The din was explosive, to put it quite mildly. The leader stepped forward and cleared his thick throat. <laughs> I have something to say, and it's something of note. We wish to help pumpkins if you'd show us how. When can you start? Gretchen asked. How about now? The ogres collected the pumpkins with care and carted them back to the old village square. I pray you'll forgive us, the old ogre pled. We're through smashing pumpkins. We'll make things instead. The villagers quaked at the sight of the creatures till Gretchen called out, They are looking for teachers. It didn't take long for the ogres to learn to make jack-o'-lanterns. They all took a turn. The fragments were sent to the bobbies for pies, for pumpkin soup, pumpkin bread, pumpkin surprise. The ogres were welcomed by all, and what's more, they opened a beautiful carved pumpkin store. Your spell did the trick, said Jake. What smelled so nice? Gretchen smiled, a concoction I call pumpkin spice. The end. And if you have the written copy, don't forget to continue on to play word search, connect the dots, multiple choice, a matching game, read jokes, get recipes, and more. Happy autumn, everyone, and thanks for listening. Looking forward to being with you again next time with another Bobby's Bakery story.